we going to do today? We definitely going to enjoy our exciting time together. Today we are going to revise what a mammal, amphibian, insect and bird is. Go over life cycles, similarities and differences of the above. Let's see what you already know about mammals, amphibians, insects, birds. Tell your family members everything you already know about these creatures. A mammal is a warm-blooded creature that gives birth to live babies. A mammal has fur or hair. The largest mammal in the world is the blue whale and the smallest is the bumblebee bat. An amphibian is a cold-blooded creature. Amphibians can breathe in and out of water. Frogs and toads are amphibians. An insect is a creature whose body is split into three sections, called the head, the thorax and the abdomen. Insects have an exoskeleton, which is a rigid external covering, and six legs. There are round about 1 million species of insects, including ants, bees and butterflies. A bird is a vertebrate, which has a backbone. It has a beak, feathers and wings. Although not all birds can fly, owls, swans and sparrows are all species of birds. Stop! 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 In one minute, Draw a life cycle of any creature. Include as much detail as possible. The life cycle of a mammal. Embryo growing inside the mother where it is completely reliant upon the mother. Two, after birth the little ones suckle mum's milk. Growth and independence from the parents occurs. Three, an adult mammal usually seeks the company of the opposite sex and mates. Life cycle of an amphibian. Stage 1. The female lays a mass of eggs, which are fertilized by the male. 2. After 2 to 25 days, the tadpole hatches from the egg. 3. The tadpole swims and eats plants. It breathes through gills. 4. The tadpole grows fins and a stronger tail. Then it develops lungs and hind legs. 5. The tadpole grows front legs and its tail shortens. It uses nutrients in its tail as food. It jumps out of water onto land. 6. The tail disappears and the tadpole starts to eat insects instead of plants. It takes two to four years to become an adult when it lays eggs and the cycle continues. The life cycle of an insect. A butterfly. 1. The female butterfly lays her eggs on leaves or stems of plants. 2. The little caterpillars eat their way out of the egg and start chomping on the leaves. A fully grown caterpillar can be a hundred times larger than when it emerged from its eggs. Wow! 3. A fully grown caterpillar forms itself into a pupa where it changes into a wonderful winged butterfly. 4. Once the butterfly emerges, it takes time to strengthen its wings for flight. The butterfly then starts the cycle again. Please, in activity 3, consolidate all you know. That means revise all your life cycles. Here's more fun. You can draw your own life cycle of a bird. Then compare similarities and differences of mammals, amphibians, insects and birds. Make a chart showing if it starts as an egg, the number of stages in the life cycle, and does the young look like the adult?